Bern. I'm a German Jesuit. I teach at the Pontifica Gregorian University in Rome. I'm a theologian, psychologist, and psychotherapist. And I'm the president of the Center for Child Protection of this university. We offer online training. We offer residential courses in safeguarding and safeguarding of minors to the worldwide church. And I am very pleased that I have had the occasion to come here to Nairobi, to this wonderful place in Subiaco Center in Karen, uh, where we had for the last five days conferences with the provincials from the assistancy of the Jesuit uh, presence in Africa and Madagascar, and with the CPOs, the child protection officers of the respective provinces and regions of this assistancy. I have encountered very much determination and commitment to the cause of the protection of minors, uh, as well um, as the availability of resources. So I am really glad that we can look into a future that seems to be very promising in terms of the personnel that is um, available, as well as structures and means to bring forward uh, some consistent answer of the Society of Jesus and its institutions in this continent uh, for uh, the best of the children of the most vulnerable among human beings. I see also much interest to find a way to inculturate, to contextualize the approaches uh, towards the victims of abuse as well as towards the perpetrators uh, and offenders because both groups need their respective uh, help and support. Um, it is very important that the African church uh, finds a way to accompany victims uh, of abuse so that these people can be uh, welcomed within the church, that they feel at home uh, where they have been uh, mistreated, where they have encountered much harm and trauma, and that the church shows a compassionate and welcoming uh, image and reality to them, that we open our houses, we open our hearts, we open uh, all our existence to this reality within the church, which is present also in this continent. I have heard before I came here and I've heard also here uh, from a few that some people say that in, in Africa this uh, child sexual abuse is no matter that is really a concern of the Western church especially if you talk about uh, sexual abuse committed by clergy, but the provincials here, as well as the church, uh, the child protection officers from the provinces told me that yes, of course, we have those cases also in Africa. And so we need to cope with it, we need to face it, and we cannot uh, continue to deny it in different ways. So I uh, am very encouraged after having met many people who are absolutely committed to this, and I'm pretty optimistic that this will take root within the Society of Jesus and that uh, they may collaborate with others in the field so that it becomes a network of people on the ground um, who are engaged in uh, protecting children. Uh, this can only be successful if it is a bottom-up approach. Uh, it cannot be from, <clears throat> from uh, upside down because here we have uh, so many people and so huge populations that we cannot rely on the assistance of uh, enough experts, enough psychologists. That doesn't simply exist. So uh, we need to find ways, the Church in Africa and the Society of Jesus need to find ways so that um, there are, for example, methods and means so that uh, groups of people can accompany those who have been harmed that there is uh, an, an approach that is aligned with the traditional customs uh, of uh, tribes, of uh, regions, that may help so that people um, are uh, empowered, that they are encouraged to talk about what has happened to them, and that they find uh, soothing and caring people who accompany them on their human and on their spiritual journey.